Okay, so part two here. The terrorists are wearing shoes. There's a group working today to keep this um, terrorist cell going, 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 going. Protect all the despots. They're not really thinking beyond that, okay? They're thinking that they have these cooping ones and they're thinking they have the cops. They're not thinking beyond that. Now, this is a bunch of fucking drug addicts, okay? They're fighting for organized crime who does a lot of drugs themselves. Nobody really has all their marbles here. All right. Okay. So um, there are some that have some of their marbles, but not really. This is seriously at this point of the game, not in 2017, but in the year 2023. This is now organized crime internationally rising up and starting world war. So that's what I mean when I say this really won't be a war because when the good guys go, these uh, militaries that are fighting for the mob are extinguished in a matter of minutes. The problem in my country is these millions of civilians who have decided they don't want to be Americans anymore. They want to be Gambino, uh, USA. No, it's fucking not funny. They're everywhere. They're, if they're, if, turn on your TV because that's all that's on TV. They've taken over our media. They've taken over everything they could. The, okay, it's really noisy here. I gotta plug my ear. The reason for this structure of how they were able to hostile take over corporations, so on and so forth, was from the ones who think the ones who made the bio weapons, the so on and so forth, okay? It wasn't from the mob, no. It was from the ones who started this, remember, in 1962. It was a group of military, KKK, white power, white supremacist, that were held over from World War II. And they brought in people on our government, and so over the course of time, they had packed them in, okay? It was it was bad news. Yes. And the objective was... I can't scr shout anymore and get into this. Actually, I'm very sorry that you know the objective. There's too much trailer trucks. Too much Mack trucks. Too much construction surrounding this house going seven days a week, not, not five. Too much terrorists. Too much sirens. I'm just doing the best I can, so let me just forget it, okay? So that's the structure. That's the ones that set this up. The social, uh, oh, I don't have words. This is too much here. The, um, the social constructs are huge. The, the, just the decay of society, okay? That, yeah, had to be done at a governmental level over a course of time. And they did it, and it was intentional, premeditated for an overthrow, okay? So there's 40%. A lot of them are generational, like I'm generational, like my grandpa was KKK, but I guess I didn't join my family, and so now they have a vendetta against me. It's been a problem with me and these relatives for my entire life. Um, but exactly, so we have generational KKK white supremacists that are cooping in our US KKK military, okay? So they're just going to do their terrorists. And yeah, they're exactly the same mindset as a radical Muslim terrorist, okay? Yeah, right? But I don't get the impression that the white terrorists are as suicidal. And that's why I know it's, it's fact. It's peer-reviewed profess professors of this, uh, whatever the word will tell you this. The Muslim terrorists are two times more brutal. And there's reasons that are based from the Quran because of that. Okay, so this is a whole nother topic. But we are dealing with Middle East terrorists and we are dealing with white separatist terrorists. On an international level, the ones here don't really think. They have now, by 2023, devoted themselves to organized crime. And now there's painful noise, which I have to turn the salsa on for. Okay, so these terrorists here in the house that are still under the floors, 
still flushing the toilet trying to get the bombs to go off, still killing people at three and four in the morning, are feeling they can take over the world while they eat their victims because of who I just discussed. The ground force of the, the law enforcement here and the KKK cooping fraction of the military. Okay, so that's our enemies in the US. When the good guys go, no, this has to stay on. It's so painful here. The fucking noises they make is fucking pain. Okay, when the good guys go, it's not gonna take a long time to deal with the fucking cooping militaries internationally. What's gonna take a while is these civilians, like what you see in Ukraine. They've taken populations, yes, okay? It's horrifying what became of the people on Earth. That's the true story here. What became of these fucking people? Okay, it's horrifying. And I don't want to get into it. You think I do when I'm shouting over salsa? Let me see if I can turn this down. Fucking animals here. Okay. So in America, it takes 14 months to get rid of these type of civilians who will continue to amass and weapon, weapon, put weapons on themselves. I don't have words. And attack and attack. Regular peacekeeping neighborhoods and towns if we don't do something about them and we're not putting them in camps. I refuse to allow that. They're going to die, be killed, whatever fucking word you want to use. No more of it, okay? And like I was saying, you can hire me, military. I'll fucking do it. All right. As far as the terrorists here go, they also had a group of Irish mob with them today. I want, I want these fuckers to go look for that old guy who owned the bar. I want them to go look for this young female, like quasi-prostitute around him. Go look for everybody around this fucking mobster. They're dead. You're not going to find them. This is God's will. You know how beautiful this is to get rid of some of the most vile, biggest, uh, I don't have word, worst, big time neo-Nazis is the Irish motherfuckers. Not Irish and Scottish like me, but there's a lot of really, I already wrote about it. I'm not going to get sidetracked. The Irish literally breed, some of them, some of them do, and it's true, and we're going to talk about this, and we're going to own up to what we became. Some of the Irish breed just for the, the blue eyes, just for the red hair. <clears throat> it's the same as the Germans. You're correct. We're going to lip, mouth broke. I can't speak. I'm getting really upset. I, my ear is always plugged. I'm surrounded by motherfucking terrorists here. I need to get to the point here. I'm going to do a third video.